Hello guys, how we doing? It's West Ham versus Leicester today at the London Stadium. Um, this is my vlog for the game. Uh, start at home as always. Um, massive, massive game today against Leicester. I think this is a good test for us. You know, the Mark Noble uh, issue now. It seems that he's been sent away. Told he's got a dead leg, guys. Um, how much you believe that, I don't know. I think Slav's basically told him, look, have a little rest for a couple of weeks. You need it. You've played a lot of games this year, and we'll see how you get on. Um, so today, I'm expecting, you know, Obiang and Kiati midfield. Hopefully, Byron right back. I know Jay from Hammer and Talk has been calling for it. I'm, I'm the same with Jay, to be honest, in terms of Slav can sort these issues out himself. He has a right back. We're not in deep trouble. We're not going to get anywhere sort of higher than what we are. So just play Byron right back and see how it goes. If he doesn't, I can see him sort of being in trouble to get a new contract, if I'm honest. If he carries on being very stubborn and catering for players. I love Slav. I don't want Slav to go. I want him to sort these problems out and hopefully it can start today. So, mate, I'm going to do that again because of the baby. Yeah, I like Slav, but he needs to sort these problems out himself and he'll get a new contract if he can sort it out. Instead of catering for players that don't deserve a place and are not uh, underperforming. Maybe we might see Masawaku today as well. Also, guys, Leicester. Let's have a little look at Leicester. Leicester, obviously, they're coming off the back of the Seville game, which is fantastic. They got themselves into the quarterfinal. Uh, and they will be playing Atletico Madrid. So they'll be on a high. But then uh, Danny Murphy made a good point that at some point you need a low. And coming back to your bread and butter sometimes is hard when you've had such a high. And then coming to somewhere like West Ham... You know, it's just maybe not as glamorous of what the game you've played recently this week. Um, they've changed a lot since Frank Yeri's left. And they're, to be honest, the players should be looking at themselves and be quite disgraced, to be honest, that they somehow can now switch it on and start playing like they did last season just because Frank Yeri's gone. Yeah, so today, I think it's going to be a tough game, to be honest. If they turn up, I can see us getting beaten about 3-1, to be honest. But with the right-back situation, Obian Kiati in midfield, Lanzini at the point... Score early, we could go on and win 3 4 nil pass, possibly. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it, guys. I love bringing you blogs where we win massive wins and great goals. So, I'm going to start my journey. I'll talk to you more on the way once I see the teams and when I see Lee. Remember, Lee loves Leicester, doesn't he? So, he's going to be really up for it today. Um, yeah, till then, see you in a bit. Hello, guys. So, I'm at West Ham Station now. Got myself sausage and chips. I didn't have time to have dinner. Nice, healthy start. Um, anyway, I ain't seen the team yet. It's still very early. It's only about two, uh, quarter to two, I think it is, on the clock now. So uh, I'll know the team very, very soon. Talking to some of the guys and hearing some of the news on the train, uh, a lot of people will not be renewing their season tickets. A bit just like a little snippet tree on the train, like, oh, I'm a bit bored of the travelling. Had no complaints at the price at all, but it was just saying about how the travelling is. Anyway, I'll speak to you in a bit. Right, guys, for you that walk down the Greenway, does any of you know what that is? That place is. Uh, Near sort of, sort of between Stratford and West Ham Station. It's like a really slight, extravagant building. But um, if you know what it is, drop it in the comments. Better picture of it there, guys. What is that building? Not today, guys, because he's not anywhere near the team today. Hmm, maybe slab and watch my video. Didn't work first time, guys. First time for everything. Here we are, very, very early. Hardly anyone here. Anyway, team news be up in about two minutes. It's about two minutes to two, but one thing we do know no Mark Noble. Here we are again, guys. Nice and early. So, climbing up to my seat, guys, on the hard stuff today. Harringate Walk. Because this walk is getting to me now. My knees. Anyway, the team news is out. I'll let you know as soon as I get to the seat. As always, guys, goalkeepers are out for training. Randolph Adrian. Casper Schmeichel for Leicester there. Premier League winner. I think it's the first dad and son, was it, last year? Here come our boys to warm up, guys. No Mark Noble. Has Slav been listening? Here you go, guys. The eye candy of all the West Ham fan TV channels. It's Lee. Here he is. Look, he looks very, very tired and disheartened today. He's also on the hard stuff, the water. 
but uh, here he is. Ladies, take it in. He's not in the country for much longer. Here he is. Right, Lee is finally here. Um, I've showed you the team. I'll teach you the little clip that they show in the stadium. No, Mark Noble, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, please about that. Please, Sam Byron's getting a go. A bit worried. in midfield. Yeah, well, hopefully, unless he decides to play <laughs> Byron midfield and carry away, but you never know. <laughs> um, worried about Vardy's pace. I'm from. Mahrez, obviously, always a danger. There was a lot of well. call for Collins to play today, but actually, against Vardy, <laughs> no, he wouldn't have stood a chance. Um, I'm quite pleased with the team. I think it's the team most people have called for. Last I'm, few I'm weeks. nervous, but I'm also I'm aware, like Danny Murphy said, that. They're going to be on a massive fight, and at some point you have a low coming back to your bread and butter. Could we see that today, West Ham? Could we see a performance where we could sort of take advantage of that? I hope so. I think you have to, when teams play in the Champions League in the week, you have to make a quick start to get in the game. I think sometimes you can catch them napping. Like I say, really worried about their pace yeah. going forward. No Morgan for them. He's obviously a bit of a beast at the back. It's good for Carroll. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Just on that before the game starts, I made a video on Mark Noble this week, got very mixed response, like a lot of likes, but also a couple of dislikes. What are your views on Mark um, in terms of going forward and next season? Yeah, I, 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 obviously a very good captain, fantastic captain, West Ham fan. It's obviously good to have, but it should not be enough for him to be in the side week in, week out. He hasn't been good enough this season. I said it last season on numerous occasions that I thought last season he played so well because of the, the whole mood yeah, around yeah, him. And, it, was and it, kind of, it was important to him as it was to all of us. That being said, and I don't think nobody should be playing, but I can't attribute too many goals, too many goals that were conceded to him. Maybe the one against Chelsea, but there hasn't been anywhere he's been directly responsible. And I've, I've said as well that I think if you one nil up and you want to see out a game, it's fantastic yeah, because he does the same pass. I said at home, home. It shouldn't be yeah, you, you need him in this in uh, on the bench, like I say, to bring him on and to to kill a game. Well, fantastic. But when you're chasing a game or it's nil nil, we get to side like Leicester in the bottom half. You want to, you want to be looking at players going forward. Yeah, we miss Kayati's drive in runs on the midfield so much this season. And he nobody to, he can protect Kayati going forward. Yeah, you don't need to play against Leicester and your likes. You don't need to play two holding midfielders. <laughs> and the thing with Kayati, he's not a holding midfielder. He's a box to box midfielder, oh, and he will get goals. Which that again, that being said, when does Noble ever score a goal in open play? You need your midfielders to contribute. So, um, if it, as we just said off air, if you like, um, got a win today, otherwise people are just going to turn back and say, so why is Mark not playing? where's Noble? Yeah. Another case in point, you're totting away this season, yes we lost the game thanks to some stupid defending, but Lanzini played in, the, in Noble's position that match, and he, he was fantastic, fantastic. fantastic it yeah. was actually one of our better performances. To be fair, the last two games, when we've put Lan Lanzini started on the left, and as soon as he's gone into that cam roll, we've played better football. Yeah, yeah, he needs to be he needs the ball middle, all yeah. the time. He's not got the pace to play as a winger. No. Interestingly, today with Snodgrass and Baguli both on the bench, see how much width we actually have in the side. Yeah, um, I'm glad I that much. Yeah, I, I used to have a chance. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Before he went off to Africa for the tournament, he, he was scoring goals and he was playing well, so let's hope he can. And he's got two, obviously, in the yeah. last three games, so let's hope he can uh, I'll waffle him. So I'll shut up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. We'll do some of the commentary as well this week, guys, like we did. Uh, I know some of you have enjoyed that for the West Ham game. Hopefully, Lee won't be commentating an away goal no, like last time. See you in a bit. Prediction? Uh, prediction? I don't know, I'm quite confident today. 2-1, 2 one, two one man. I think it, the more I think about it, the more I think it's a bit of a must-win game. I think if we win today, you can forget all about relegation because I, I think it will give us a good cushion. Um, so I'm going to say a scrappy 1-0. Yep. Becoming a bit of a routine now, this camera angle at the start of games. Maybe me and Leah have to think of something else to do for the start of these yeah. games. But here they come. So the current champions versus West Ham today. They're not going to be champions this year. Good to see Coyote in the field. Yeah, early chance here for Antonio yeah, as well. Decent effort. 
tried to test Keeper early on, no problem with that. Keep it up. Yeah. One nil lead, Marley's, I think, John Kip should have done better than Yeah, unsighted. One of those where it seems across and unsighted. At least it's early and we've got to try to keep the heads up and keep, keep with, with the players. But the slight roll is the best of the slight roll. It's 2-0. Robert Oof for the header. Just ripped to pieces. Terrible defending. Shocking. I don't know what to say. Shocking. Well, <laughs> my bet's out the window. 2-1. 2-2 two, two, just to get a, a drop. Not good guys. Winston Reed is down injured and he went down with no touch. One of them real funny ones. Lee Winston Reed is down. Doesn't look good. He went down with no touch. Yeah, bad for work. Bad, and he's, bad he looked like he was actually screaming when he yeah. went down. Yeah. yeah, not good. Collins is warming up. I suspect he's coming on. Mm. And uh, he's being carried off now just as we're seeing this. Sad to see. Uh, Ginger Pele coming on. Interestingly, Stockgross is coming on, not Collins, so yeah, I think he drops back. Got to do it, I think. Got to have a go. Why not? Well, I wouldn't have been confident with Fodder and Collins at the back. No, that gets hard. No. Right, dangerous free kick for West Ham. And yeah. Carroll over at Stockgross. No, I, I think it's too close to get it up and over the wall. Lanzini over it as well. It's going to be Lanzini, but I think it's too close. No, it's not! Yeah! So just as we're on top, mix up the back, Jamie Vardy milk in the moment as well, absolute vile human being. It's 3-1, Lee, all the way back. Half time, 3-1 down, terrible. Remember Leicester's not won a game away this season yet. Me and Lee will talk about it in a minute. Right, half time Lee, and we can fucking defend the save that one. No, you can't defend these set pieces, don't deserve to win football matches, won't win football matches. 3-1 down at half time. Vardy's having a party. And we're not, we're just all gone Do you know what annoys me? He's got one of the best centre forwards in the air in the Premier League, and not how many times have you put the ball in the box? Once, Once twice. Yeah. Not what, gonna win games like that. What can we do then? What can we do? Well, but nothing on the bench. Pagouli maybe, but he don't cross the ball either. Fernandez is busy, but he's not going to really offer anything. Yeah. Be a bit more direct, I think. Yeah. You've got to do it, and you never know. You never know. The early goal could change it. Yeah, you never know. And it comes to the second half, Lee. Big game is <laughs> Lee just finishing off his cheese and onion there. Uh, I can't see no way back, to be honest. Big first 10 minutes to try and get back into it. Very unlikely. No changes. We'll see what happens. 15 minutes in the second half, it's the first real thing that's happened from this. Rubbish. Yeah. No, 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 really improved. The midfield, you know, where... Yeah, so slow. Yeah. They're winning everything, though. every little 50-50. And if they're, not, if they're not winning the... This is too far out. I know I said that. <laughs> I said the other one was too close. This is far too far out to shoot. We'll see. Too far out. Oh! I tell you what. Lanzini nearly put two away there, Lee. Very close, but we'll keep rolling, we'll keep yeah. rolling actually. We need goals, that's the problem, we don't need ooze, we need goals. Yeah. We'll keep rolling for the corner, Lee. Take yeah, us through it. Yeah, we need it, we need a goal. That's what you need a goal. We're so good at defending these, so when it comes back close to Carroll. Yes! Yeah! Well, Lee, I said I wanted to get goals on Carroll, I've got two for the rest of those so far. Why you? Another goal for you. Lovely back post, Carroll knocks it back. You saw it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Game on, guys. Another worrying one. OBN has gone down as well. To lose two of our best players in one game. Not good. It looks so, like, um, I'm just going to zoom over to the better. It looks like Nordbet is coming on. Uh, what do you make of that? Use? Yeah, so in a way it's good because he's a great passer of the ball. Hasn't been given a fair crack of it in central midfield. And he'll just sit there and let everyone else just go. Yeah. So I, I think it's Fernandez actually coming on. Yeah, sad the scenes. Going on for the stretch of that. Oh, it's, it's Fernandez coming on. That's good. Like for like, really. Yeah. Yeah. So I like him. I like Fernandez. Got to go in. Yeah, it's so Brian, you can hear the atmosphere building the stadium now. It's game on it, really. Lee's face. 
Ray sums it all up. I you, Antonio busted through. I have got it in over the barley. Oh, Massive guilt edge for free free guilt edge. Right, as Lee said, we've just got to keep it away from Smigel. Yeah, the last two have gone straight to his, his fist, he's, he's caught it. He needs to be a little, maybe a bit shorter, shorter and a flick back. We'll see now, that's better. Oh! Still alive! Andy Carroll! Oh! I thought I was going to get three goals on camera now. We've had two free kicks, uh, important kicks like this. One stuns Michael's hands and one's gone in. Yeah, we stopped us. It's I important now. This time, yeah. Left hand side, you think it's us. Just let you know, guys, it's six minutes of stopping time as well, so we've got time. Got another great view. It's had a great view of the first half, right behind it. Yeah. The right, well, we run the goal anyway. Come on, Robert. Come on. Come on, Robert. over this one. This is a big moment. Big wall, though, big wall. Can you get it up and down? Go under. It's tense, it's very tense atmosphere now. Expectation rises. If you want my prediction, it's going over the bar. Yeah. Unbelievable save from Casper Schmeichel again. He's pulled off two worldies today. Unbelievable save. Lee. Unbelievable. I don't know how he saved it. <laughs> I do not know how he saved it. But 20 seconds left, if that, 10 seconds possibly. That's it. We lose 3 2, guys. A good match, but Peter, uh, not Peter, Casper Schmeichel's. I don't know, he kept us in it. I thought we deserved a draw in that. Yeah, second half, deserved a point. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I oh, hate him so much. Casper Schmeichel pulled off some absolute well deserved. He did. It was a couple of really good saves, but oh, I hate him. I hate him. <laughs> um, to sum up, Lee, um, what do you think? Moving on. I think when Fernandez come on, we look good. Masawako, we look good if I'm thinking, picking some positives out of the bad game. That's right. Yeah. That's man of the match, man of the match for us, if any. Thank Yeah. And I have to say, I've got to give it to Byron because he's had a lot of stick this year. I think he did a great job at yeah, that. Yeah, he did play really well. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, well, yeah. That's it. We'll be back. I hope you enjoy it, guys. Please like. Remember to enter the competition for the signed Irons United DVD. See you soon. Come on, you Irons. Keep believing.